Well, did you read the Fauci emails? Yes. The Freedom of Information emails? That's really crazy. Because well, he, first of all, he's admitting in these emails that masks don't work. He was he? Yes. Yeah, he talked about it. Talked about it openly. Uh, wait, I didn't know that part. I knew yeah. I only. Uh, here's, here's I thought you were going to talk about the. Uh, well, that too. The but here's the thing. thing. But part of the email was look. Part of the mask conversation with Fauci has always been that at the beginning of the pandemic, he said masks didn't work. Uh-huh. But then he said the reason he said that is because there wasn't enough masks for first responders and hospital staff, and he didn't. He wanted to make sure that the supply wasn't right. diminished. So he said that he didn't tell the truth. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. But in these emails. He's also, this is private emails. He's right. saying masks don't work. For he's, real? Yes. He's saying that they're, they're, they're not effective for what you, outside of a hospital setting, uh-huh. but these masks, like for personal use, the, the kind of cloth masks and yeah. paper masks that everybody's wearing, they're, they're not effective. They're not, they can't, exactly what did he say? Let's, let's pull it up yeah. so we get exactly what he said. But that's not even the big part. The big part is he's talking about gain of function research in the Wuhan lab, and he's concerned about it. And thinking whether or not they had paused that and whether they're still doing that. And he's trying to connect the gain of function research in the Wuhan lab with this COVID breakout and uh-huh. whether or not that's where it came from. Right. And why is that a big deal? Because that's, he, they funded it. The NIH funded these people who funded the gain of function research uh-huh. in the Wuhan lab, which means they're responsible for funding the very research that led to this outbreak, if that's where it came from. Right. So all this time when he's been saying it came from nature, there's no way it came from a lab. Well, you know that's shifted, right? Now everybody's saying well, now it came from a lab. Right. They, right. Right. But then not because confirmed the evidence. Yet. Right. right. But the evidence is pointing. Yeah. As it's most likely that it came from a lab. Uh-huh. But this whole time, Fauci's been saying it didn't. But you see in his emails that he was concerned. Well, concerned. But isn't that? But isn't that like just trying to figure out what the information is? Not really. I mean, because he doesn't definitively know either, right? There's a lot of indications, according to the email, mm-hmm. that he's talking to another scientist. Right. The scientist points out the variables or the 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 um, the components of the virus mm-hmm. that seem to indicate that it possibly came from a lab. Uh huh. But publicly, he's been out and out dismissing that because to he's what connected end? to because, that research. Because he's, uh, because he's connected to the very research they were doing there. Uh huh. It's really complicated shit. It's confused. Yeah. Does Rand Paul's been grilling him? Have you seen those things? Here you go. Typical mask you buy in a drugstore is not really effective in keeping out the virus, which is small enough to pass through the material. It might, however, provide some slight benefit in keeping out gross droplets if someone coughs or sneezes on you. I do mm-hmm. not recommend that you wear a mask, particularly since you're going to a very low-risk location. See, this is just him saying that these drugstore masks are not really effective. Right. But this is this is in an email after he has said publicly mm-hmm. that you didn't have to wear masks because they, they didn't really help. And then he's saying this, and after that he said, that, well, he wasn't telling the truth there because he didn't want people to buy all the masks. But then he's saying right. this after that right. in an email that they don't really work. But yet he's wearing a but mask. But that's all kind the time. of like that's there is shades in that. There's like the gross droplets. Gross droplets. But and, also, if, and if you're in a low risk location, like yeah. what's his motivation to, like why would he profess masks if he thought well because part that's the narrative. that they, that they don't all, work. The narrative is everybody needs to mask up. But right? why? Like well because it makes people feel safer. A, it uh-huh. helps people get back to work. B, mm-hmm. and it obviously is providing some benefit. Something's, yeah. so, listen, this is my take on it. Something's <laughs> happening because the flu cases are down so low. Oh, yeah. So is that because of people wearing masks? Is that because of social distancing? Because everybody's kind of freaked out and staying away from each other for so long? Washing their hands everywhere what? they go, getting yeah. having having Purell at every, I don't think that's at every it. spot? I don't think that's it because it's a, you're talking about something that's airborne. It's well, for that, but for you to get a cold, you know, your hands and right. touching your shit. Maybe. All those things. Maybe. All those things. Yeah, maybe. But I, there's something, something, it, there's very well likely something to masks that maybe we weren't aware of. So mm-hmm. even what he's saying there, yeah. that it might just keep out gross droplets. Yeah. But isn't it at all about like viral load? Because like, that's the thing they say about hospital workers. Uh-huh. Like hospital workers, when they're, they're exposed to so much, right, when that's it's a when heavy it's dose overwhelming it. and they really get sick. Yeah, they get so like a heavy So maybe dose. that's what these masks are good for. What is this? Yeah, get that. There you go. Um, 
which are the protective measures anyone should take against the new virus? Do masks work? He said, the vast majority of people outside China do not need to wear a mask. Read the Fauci-approved response. A mask is more appropriate for someone who's infected than for people trying to protect against infection. Mm. Right. Well, I mean, what's but like what's my whole thing with all of this is it's been very confusing. We're all every governor is making decisions. Everybody's around the world is trying to figure shit out and calling a lockdown or calling not a lockdown. Everyone's like unlimited information, trying to make the best decisions that they can. Like yeah. I don't think that. As a governor of a state, you're making a decision to screw up the economy on purpose. I don't think that I don't think that Fauci is talking about masks to like harm people. You know no. what I mean? Like I, no, I just that's feel not the like problem. I feel like they just have limited information and are trying to muddle their way through the best that they can. Like what? That's not the real problem. Is the mask thing? It's a small problem. The real problem is this gain of function research shit. This is the the very research that they were doing where they were juicing. What is up gain the- of function? You they said. were juicing up these viruses to make them more infectious, and they were practicing, uh-huh. like trying to use. Uh, I think they use human lung tissue and try to get the virus to be more. The, the, the idea is with. I mean, I'm going to butcher this for sure, but I think yeah. the idea is when they're doing this research, they want to find out what makes these viruses more infectious, and mm-hmm. they were doing it on the original SARS as well, yeah, which has like a 10 percent fatality rate. Wow. It's very scary. Wow, you know, this is stuff scary. is less than 1%, yeah, but yeah. that stuff is way worse. Yeah. And by doing this gain of function research, they run the risk of people getting sick. We just found out a couple of weeks ago that in November of 2019, three workers from the lab in Wuhan got sent home and uh, sent to the hospital rather, really ill with coronavirus like symptoms. And this was before they had COVID-19 tests, right? Uh-huh. So this these people back. got sent home. I believe one of the guy's wives died uh-huh. from COVID, and they think this was the initial infection. So these people in the lab uh-huh. got sick. So all this time, while they were trying to dismiss this lab outbreak, uh-huh. that had been hidden from us, that these three people in the lab got sick. The fact that Fauci had something to do with that gain of function research and funding that gain of function research, that had kind of been hidden from us. Well, that makes it Josh seem. Josh Rogan exposed that. But on, that makes it seem like Fauci's like putting on scrubs and walking down the halls of that place. You know what I mean? Like, is Fauci really like in there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, are you defending Fauci? <laughs> is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. I think that he's been put up as a, a someone we can take our fears and anger and, and throw it at. But is he like, he may be part of like, you know, these things are huge. Like, huge. there's a big board of people that decide that what they're going to research. And you got to read these emails. You got to read these emails I and know. Re- read. So, do you think that he's evil? Do you think that no, he is? No, I'm not saying that. So, what do you no. what are you saying? I think, I think someone fucked up. Uh-huh. And I think they're trying to cover up the fact that they fucked up. Uh, okay. I think the whole reason why they've been saying that this thing came from nature, it's mm-hmm. a natural spillover, is right. I, don't, I don't think they're saying that because that's the most likely scenario. I think they're uh-huh. saying that because they fucked up. Right. Now, and they, they, they didn't want everyone to know that they fucked up. And I think right. having the position of power and having the position of authority that he had, he could say, it, 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 there's no indication this came from a lab. <laughs> who and, is they? Who fucked up? Like, who, what is this? Well, the, the lab in what? Wuhan for sure fucked okay, up. Okay, so who runs that lab? Well, I don't know, but I do know that the NIH funded an organization. They gave money to an organization which gave money to that lab. That's, uh-huh. that's the official story. Got it. And this is the like, story is, that like, Rand Paul always... talked about uh-huh. when he was grilling Fauci. This is also what Josh Rogan talked about. Right. He's a journalist that investigated all this. What Josh what Rogan was saying was that during the Trump administration, everything was so chaotic that they just kind of they were able to restart this this kind of dangerous research that Obama had put the brakes on. Uh-huh. Obama apparently like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-huh. Like, why are you why are you making viruses more deadly? Oh really? Stop. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> Trump was Trump was over there going, I'm, I'm number one, I'm the best, <laughs> and they're like, I got an idea. Let's start that fucking research back. Let it again. fly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Virus force. Some, I mean, it's interesting because uh, some yeah, uh, interesting. news organizations are ignoring it completely. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, other organizations are attacking. It's that's when you see well, like whether yeah. or not the news is really the news because you see the difference between the way the left wing news is covering it, which is a lot of them are just out and out ignoring it. Yeah, and then the right wing news coverage, they're constantly bringing up these emails, right? And pulling them out and to hashtag fire Fauci and all this different shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like once you start, once you start. Um, Calling out like this is our side's thing. Like I saw that there was a headline in the New Yorker or the New York Times that said why it's important to why it's so important to figure out whether this lab theory is correct yeah. or not. And it was like that was kind of the first time I saw it in those in those papers of like. Oh no, it was in the, the week. it was in Newsweek a couple of months ago. No, but I'm saying that was like the first that was the shot first crack. fired. Yeah, yeah. Because you, I mean, you see it on the cover of Newsweek when they start to consider it again. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was political. Trump, yeah, it was totally political. Trump was such he was such a polarizing figure mm -hmm. that and people hated him so much that anything that guy said, mm -hmm. everybody was like, "Fuck him." Let's go the other way. Right. He said <laughs> it came from a lab, that it definitely didn't come from a fucking lab. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. Right. That's the boy that cried wolf. Syndrome, right? It became yeah, like exactly. He, he kind of did that to himself. He made, he just keeps saying such crazy shit that everybody was just and making it and calling out know, everybody and yelling. But at them. And meanwhile, like, Fauci just wrote a book, so he's releasing a book on this now, uh, and making money off of a book. Yeah, yeah. And he's also the same guy that told us we would never shake hands again. I think he's adorable, though. He's little. He's got like a little, like a Bronx kind of thing going. I got an action figure. Somebody sent me a Fauci action <laughs> figure. Yeah, yeah. It, it with a mask it. on. It has a mask on, <laughs> sitting on my desk. He's adorable. He's funny. You put him out there. He's like, mm. you know, there's like all. Look, I would love to know what that will like. Okay, so if we're trying to get into the truth of it, which is what we need, right? We need to well, know. Well, obviously, like, you and me are not going to get into well, the truth of it. Please, I'll, Let's just... you could tell me the fact right now, and I'll forget it by the next <laughs> subject. <laughs> but if they're trying to figure that out, like who is behind Wuhan? Like who is making those decisions to do all this stuff? Like, and how far is that a global thing? Like, was yeah. the U.S. a huge part of it? Was was Norway really involved? Like who? Well, they have a bunch I of labs know what in it China, is. apparently, that do this kind of work. Yeah. And they do uh, different kinds of work at different kinds of labs. And the real fear is that in like some labs in the world, mm -hmm. some places in the world, they do weaponized virus work. God. Which means- Terrifying. That's terrifying. Which terrifying. Means they did that in Russia. For sure. We actually covered that on this uh, sci-fi show that I hosted years back. Oh, yeah? Like covered the idea of weaponized viruses. Oh, but the thing that they told me when we went to uh, the CDC down in uh, Galveston, Texas, they have this big building where they house basically every fucking terrible disease known to man, big thick ass walls oh and ventilation God. systems and everyone's wearing spacesuits and me and Duncan are high as fuck wandering around this place. <laughs> No, Yikes. you brought Duncan? Yeah, me and Duncan went down there. <laughs> oh, that's great. And uh, that the just... guy was saying that what he's really worried about more than anything is yeah. things that come from nature. He's like, uh -huh. we could worry all day about weaponized viruses. And he goes, but the possibility of that is low compared to the possibility of something jumping from nature, which is very high. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.